you are called to walk with Jesus. It's part of the greatest privilege of being a Christian is actually to do life with Jesus Christ. And part of that purpose is that we will become like Him. That's why He wants us to walk with Him, so that He can shape our lives. And we're focusing on different aspects of that. The one I would particularly like to focus on today is to become a servant like Jesus was a servant. And I must say, He left an immaculate example. In Mark chapter 10 and verse 45, Jesus is written about and it said that He came uh, to serve, not to be served. That's what He said about Himself. And so He came as the servant king, came humbly in, in the form of a servant to serve us. That verse goes on to say in Mark 10 verse 45, that not only did He come to serve, not to be served, but to give His life. As a ransom for many. Um, further on in his life we see how Jesus and on an occasion washed the feet of his disciples and then gave them the command, uh, the instruction to also do likewise, to follow in his example and we still call today to that, is to also wash the feet of the world. Of course we need to ask ourselves the question, um, who do we serve and what, what do we serve in? And I would like to make it as simple as possible. We're not just there to be doormats to the world kind of thing. But we're called to serve God first. To serve the Lord with all our hearts. Secondly is to serve His purpose, His will in this world. Mainly to make Him known to this world. And then lastly, we're there to serve each other, to serve people. It's actually all about showing through our serving uh, the love and care and power of God to this world. That's important. Through our serving, we show His heart to this world. And of course, then the question comes, but how do we serve? And before we get to specifics, it's about knowing that as we walk humbly with Jesus, as we humble ourselves, because that's a prerequisite for real servitude, but as we humbly walk with Jesus, He will enable us to serve like He served. He will make us to be servants. Um, but play, please note this also. That verse from Mark chapter 10 has got the sentences in that says, He gave Himself a ransom to many. So the how of serving in the Jesus style will always involve giving. And I'm not referring to money and things like that firstly, but giving of yourself, giving of your time, your talents, uh, your kindness. But that we'll be ready to know that serving implies giving. And then also, very important, we serve after his example with excellence. And one of the things that defines excellent serving is when we, we don't wait to be asked to serve, but we anticipate needs. And we're allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us to serve. Please remember this, that we are never need-led as Christians. It's not shame, there's a big need, let's make a difference. But it's always in response to the Holy Spirit. As we walk with Jesus, as we're friends with the Holy Spirit, we trust Him to lead us to serve this world with God's love, power and kindness. And then whatever He says, whether it's a big thing or a small thing, but we serve with commitment and excellence. And I trust that you'll be encouraged uh, to walk with Jesus and to become like Him in terms of your serving. God bless you, and remember, you can get our little book on Walking with Jesus with a 40-day journal to help you in your walk and deepen your friendship on Amazon or Kindle. I trust you'll enjoy Walking with Jesus and keep on growing your friendship.